Major equipment company is rolling out an improved helmet rating system designed to keep your children safer on the ball field. And since the 80s, the batter's helmets are required to withstand hits from 68 mile an hour balls, but Rawlings is now upping those standards. Local 2 Health reporter Rachel McNeil in Bel Air to explain. Last week, Toronto Blue Jays pitcher J.A. Happ suffered a cringe-inducing blow to the head. Pros aren't the only ones at risk. According to the CDC, more than 9,000 children end up in the ER with concussions or brain injuries from being hit by a baseball. Neuropsychologist Kenneth Podell with the Methodist Concussion Center explained how these hits differ from head-to-head -head hits in football. In baseball, when you get hit by a ball, it's more of a focal injury that we're more worried about. And that's exactly what the intent of those helmets is, to be able to absorb that impact at a certain speed to prevent that energy from going through to the skull and then into the brain. The new Rawlings Performance Rating System upgrades the helmet standard. The new helmets are designed to absorb a 70 mile an hour jolt for younger players, 80 for kids ages 12 through 16, 90 for high school and college, for the pros, 100 miles per hour. What moms need to know at home is, is what level of, of uh, velocity or pitch speed are, are their sons or daughters uh, experiencing. I think it's a must. I wouldn't let my child go out and play baseball without the proper equipment. So if you think there's a 1%, even less than 1% chance your child may be injured from having recreational sport, then wear that helmet. Now, parents should also be aware of the signs of concussion, headache, confusion, dizziness, loss of balance, sensitivity to light or sound. And if your child does take a hit, remove them from play and seek medical attention immediately. Remember, rest is really the best way to recover. We're live from Bel Air tonight. I'm Rachel McNeil, KBRC Local 2.